What's up everybody? It's time for a new edition of a new, I don't know, what would you call it? Um, show? Is this a show? People sit down and watch this like it's Netflix? I mean, it's as long as Netflix shows. So yeah, let's call it that. This is top five thorny moments on a trip. Now, I don't blame you if you expect this to just be me messing with Thorny because usually if I mention Thorny or Rob it's pretty much me messing with them I don't know why it just comes very easy I guess but let's try to actually make a serious video for once so number five the fifth best thing that someone in this case Thorny has done on a disc golf trip so much for um being serious <laughs> no. but honestly if i had thought about it this would have been number one on the last video which was the worst things that's happened on a disc golf trip but not all of it together but the worst thing that happened on a disc golf trip followed thorny's fifth best thing that he's done on a disc golf trip so let's get to the worst thing first so we can clear the air worst thing that ever happened on a disc golf trip was this butt nozzle slapping the snot out of my hand this dude goes to give me a high five because he's all excited and rears back to somewhere around tokyo and slaps the frick out of my hand and almost shatters every bone in it like I guess if that dude entered a slap contest as long as he gets to go first because we're not going to talk about you know his um ability to handle pain but if he gets to go first I guess he wins like I don't know the man that can handle that I about died and he slapped my hand like that's probably why oh what course was that i don't know but if he beat me there that's why he definitely beat me on whatever holes were after that i probably had to throw left-handed or probably like left-footed had to kick that junk yeah dog i thought he killed it sheesh but back to the story of where it's supposed to be and that is the fifth best thing he did on a trip it happened right before that and that's the one he got him a metal burger and it was a beautiful throw. It was at the, um, pretty sure it was the Eagle Course at um, Sab Sabatis. The Sabatis course around. Beautiful Anheuser. I don't know the number, but I can picture the shot very vividly. It was a very obvious, like, you got to throw forehand or Anheuser. It's a wall of trees. Basket tucked away. You couldn't even see the basket from the tee pad. But you can hear that metal ding. And, um yeah he definitely got a dinger and it was so good too because not only was it a beautiful shot but the course before that everybody thought he hit metal but me and i could see it from where i was at but again it was kind of blind but i could see it kick off of a tree and when everybody celebrated it was like oh my gosh i gotta be the one to break the bad news and he's gonna think i'm just being a butt nozzle which is probably why he paid me back with that hand slap later but um yeah I, I was glad that he actually was able to go ahead and hit metal so yeah worked out great that he hit it and i mean honestly that was a not only a top five great uh, moment for him in the trips but possibly a great a top five best throws on a trip so far so let's get to number four number four the fourth best moment for Thorny on a trip is probably also really going to be on my top five, spoiler alert. But, um, you know, it's got to be on there because I'm the one making the list. It probably wouldn't be on there if anybody else was making it. But him coming in second place on the most southern question. There we were sitting in the restaurant up north, about as far north as north can go and still be in the u.s ask the waitress who's the most southern it was actually who sounds the most southern and i don't know if i really wanted that dubious distinction before but after winning the honor i gotta say 
for Thorny to be runner-up. I mean, that's quite an accomplishment. If you can be almost as southern as I am, I mean, hey, good on you, Thorny. Good on you. So, yeah, I won't spend too much time, you know, talking about how great an honor that is for Thorny because this is supposed to be serious. But, um, you know, hey, what would it be if I didn't get at least one little jab in, you know? So, number four, Thorny's second place finish in the um, most southern contest. Let's get to number three. Number three. Oh, this is honestly, man, this is my favorite. This is my favorite um, Thorny moment, but I got a feeling it wouldn't have been on anybody else's list because, again, I'm biased and I'm the one making the list. Hey, feel free to do your own videos. We'll panel random it up. But, um,. We're driving down the road, we're doing all the song playlists, wrapping around the van, and everybody gets to pick a song, and, um, I don't know, honestly, I mean, this is kind of embarrassing to say, but, um, I didn't know this, that it was an actual dance, I thought it came from Fresh Prince, because that's where I learned it, that's the only place I've seen it, but, Jump On It came on, me and Thorny started hitting the the jump on it dance freaking in sync <laughs> like move for move going down the road and um i bet i ain't gonna better put the music on here without them snatching it down but um y'all know the song freaking me and thorny was killing it oh man i'd reunite the whole thing for you but i ain't got the music or the ability not without my tag team partner i'd high five him right now but then i wouldn't have an arm the rest of the trip or the rest of the video but um dang that junk was fun ah uh, that was good times i ain't gonna lie that junk's got me grinning but yep jump on it me and thorny doing a little dance either way <laughs> jump on it number three. Oh man so um number two number two best thorny moment on a trip Man, I gotta say, Thorny's number two best moment on a trip. Winning at Fox Run, man. I said going in that he was gonna beat me at Fox Run Meadows because, A, I'm really bad at open field with OB. I don't know why. In the woods, OB, I do all right. Either way, I said dude was gonna beat me and subsequently he beat me not a big shocker dude's really good and can fling it and he, if i were judging him i would say he's better on open courses than he is on wooded courses i don't know if that's true but that's just what i think of in my head and that's why i said he would beat me and i was right again but what i didn't know was that he would beat the brakes off dud as well and um he did not that, again, not that he ain't never beat Dutt. Not that he can't beat Dutt. But Dutt's really good on open courses. Like, me and Dutt are, I mean, kind of close in wooded courses. Like, once every 35 I beat him. Open courses, I never beat him. And, dude's, like, r phenomenal. Like, 1,000 rated. And that's not a joke. I think he shoots 1,000 rated rounds on open courses. And I'm pretty sure that's what Thorny did on the trip. He dissected Fox Run Meadows, just buzzed down the middle, and I'm throwing like safe hyzer shots, and I couldn't get them to stick. But meanwhile, Thorny's just fairway, fairway, fairway. I don't know what his fairway percentage was, but I'm guessing 130. And um, yeah, even with the wind, like it was windy, I didn't really trust my mids trying to keep them, you know, just straight down the middle. But dude killed it. So, hey, big ups on that, too. Um, he crushed it. So, good stuff. And that's number two. Anywho, number one. Man, this one, it's kind of funny. I almost didn't go with this because it wasn't technically on a disc golf trip, but I almost think you got to have it. I think his best moment ever on a disc golf trip is kind of twofold. I was thinking like over on a trip that dude ran that half marathon 
and we were on a trip, me, him, and Dutt. And that's an accomplishment. I mean, some might argue that it's half an accomplishment because it's half a marathon. But, no, all joking aside, like, I mean, that's good stuff. Like, legit. That's, I mean, especially at 395 pounds or whatever that dude weighs in at. All right, I'm taking it back to serious. But, no, no, no. Real time, I mean, real, in real time, it was laughable because his toes were doing that. But... That's not what I was talking about either. But all joking aside, that's impressive. I can't do it. I mean, once upon a time, I think I could have. And it is not, it'll not be this day. Or any day in the future. I might do 13 miles while driving around talking on this camera. That's about it. So, but that isn't even the, the biggest accomplishment. Honestly, that Ocean Isle trip, when I was thinking about it, I almost remember that, like, as that's what spawned the disc golf trips. Him inviting me and Dutt onto the Ocean Isle trip to come with him down there and um, celebrate the toes. Like, I remember talking about after that, like, on the way back and everything, about, like, doing more trips and stuff. And maybe I'm wrong on this, but even if I'm wrong about it actually directly translating, like, we actually decided, hey, let's do disc golf trips then which I kind of feel like we did, it definitely helped spawn the disc golf trips. We started thinking about taking trips, thinking about going places, doing stuff. And, um, man, I mean, if, if ever there's a number one contribution or number one accomplishment, I should say, on a trip, it's got to be starting the trips. So, and in a large way, that, you know, that did it. So, hey, big round of applause. Didn't people used to do that in elementary school or something? Like the round thing? Circle? Maybe that was Karate Kid? I don't know. Either way, I'm just out here talking at this point. I'm just glad that I got through a whole video without making fun of Thorny's toes crawling up or anything like that. But yeah, dude, basically, I mean, he brought forth the disc golf trips in a way. So, that's got to be number one. Like, maybe that should be everybody's number one. I mean, if they had actually done it. But, like, if it was a collab, you know what I'm saying. Either way, hey, jump on it, you know? Let's get it. Disc golf trips. Yay. If you don't mind. Dang. That's not shot. Good line if it holds. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs>